Hallelujah. There's no language barrier in Christ. God doesn't have a problem with language. Kita tahu Psalms 118 verses 1 to 9. Sama kata cikgu mau bikin tahu ya. Praise the Lord. Sarang tu tiga bu rua tol. Give thanks to the Lord for He has given us His blessing for us. Let each one now say, His blessing for us forever. Let the house of Aaron now say, His blessing for us forever. Those who fear the Lord now say, His blessing for us forever. I call on on the Lord in distress. The Lord answer me and set me in your place. The Lord is on my side. I will not fear. What can men do to me? The Lord is for me among those who help me. Therefore, I shall sing by the side of those who hate me. It is better to trust in the Lord than put confidence in me. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in princes. Amen. Eh? Tapi nak kita kita bukan orang lebih baik show, apa yang bukan orang lebih kita tahu? Tamata. Eh? Praise the Lord. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in men. Praise the Lord. Eh? Halo, anda baru nak kau beri kau yang dona, eh? Dona yang itu, mungkin nama itu masuk masuk kau. Wah, dah barang ramai tangan nak tambur, dah barang ramai tangan song banyak gua pernah keluar. Dah, entah siapa yang nuri tu, gua pernah tala tala, entah siapa yang nuri tu, gua beko eh, gua siapa yang bos ni keluar. Dah, siapa yang nuri tu, gua pernah keluar. Mereka pasti bikin dengan kami mohon senda. Amen ni. Amen. Alhamdulillah. Sekarang itu tiada pusat doa ini. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Bawa kita mereka kotor kotor pas seven. Sekarang ini tim cikin ada tu mas mas. Praise the Lord. Masa tiada pusat. Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We worship you, we praise you, we thank you. Now we live on the Kalu Levo, Kalu Baita Mera. Hallelujah, Kalu Bayuku, Kalu Sa. Hallelujah, Sa. Send it to us, send it to us, hallelujah. My Natal Mundo, Tina Tau Mundo, is a Kalu Tibunana Kalu. Hallelujah, Kemina, Alifa, Kena Omeka, and I bought a book and I bought a book to Oti. Hallelujah, thank you, Lord. You are the beginning and the end. Hallelujah. Uh, we are greeted uh, this uh, evening in the name of our wonderful Savior and Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Uh, wherever part of this community that you come from, whether you're from Nandawa, Nosori, Dabui Lebu, Hallelujah, Lemi, oh glory be to God, Nakasi, whether you come from the West. Just to be this Lambasa, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. So you are most welcome in the house of the Lord tonight. It's our prayer that God will touch our hearts tonight and visit our lives tonight. Do something new. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We pray that, uh, that you won't leave tonight uh, disappointed. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. And the Sakita Wakito Lovakiko, and the Bia Sariko, and the Doing Wale Maikina, Naka Sano Bavaleo, Na Yado Mai Bavaleo, and the Kabini Singer and I, Menda Mai Beto Ponitaka, the Bosnikolo, and the Sinai Tokola, the Talanikolo, and the Mai Tokola Tikuna. Hallelujah, and the Bosnikolo. Amen. Praise the Lord. We are so blessed that God can speak to us again. Hallelujah. From his word. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. We are we are touching um, the basic Christian foundational study. Praise the Lord. Amen. Why we do what we do in the church. Or why God set it up like this. And we need to understand that. Praise the Lord. It's like building a house. Yeah? When we build the house, we make sure that the foundation is properly set. Praise the Lord. Amen. You cannot build a 10-story building on a two-story foundation. Is that right, Pastor? Amen, He's a builder. He knows it. The same thing with our Christian life. You cannot build 
uh, your Christian life, my Christian life, uh, praise the Lord, had it on a weak yeah. foundation. Amen? Amen. This, this journey with God, this faith journey with God is a marathon. It's not a 100 meter sprint. Praise the Lord. Amen. It's a marathon. And we need to be trained and we need to be quit. Uh, praise the Lord. Of how to live the Christian life. Because some of us, we don't know how to live the Christian life. Eh? Amen. We are doing things in the uh, Christian life thinking that it is correct. But uh, as a matter of fact, it's not. Because it's not biblical. It's not based on the Bible. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Tonight we pray that this thing is going to hold us up. Eh? Praise the Lord. So for those of you who were here last night, uh, I, I pray that you'll be patient tonight uh, because we're going to go through it again just for, the, just for the sake of the people that were not here last night. Are you patient tonight? Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Will you, will you allow that? So we just go it through. Yes, Brother Joe? Is that, is that okay? Oh, Brother Joe wants to re-digest re, re it again. Eh? He was very happy last night, Pastor. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And that's, that's a good sign, eh? So that's what we're doing. The basic Christian foundation study. So we're, we're touching from the ground up. Praise the Lord. So mm -hmm. as you go in your journey of faith uh, with Parmeshwar, you, you begin to understand a few things, eh? Praise the Lord. Amen. Can you say amen? Amen. amen? amen. In the spiritual realm, there are only... Two kingdoms. Ten a kingdom. Do a kingdom. Ah, do a kingdom. I'm practicing my Hindi, eh? Praise the Lord. Eh? Hallelujah. Uh, just, just as a reminder, when you come to this, uh, this type of sessions, bring an old book and a pen, eh? Bring an old book and a pen. If you've if you got a USB and you want the, the, the PowerPoint presentation of this, we will give it to you. Just bring your USB and we'll download it to you. You can have it. Praise the Lord. We're not greedy in this church, are we, Pastor? No, I'm very, very, praise the Lord, very humble. Just say, praise the Lord. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. So in the spiritual kingdom, there are only two kingdoms, or in the spiritual realms, there are only two kingdoms. And what are they? For you guys that were here last night, don't answer it. What are they? There are only two kingdoms. What are they? Come on. How many kingdoms? Two kingdoms? Three kingdoms? That's very good. But what are they? Praise the Lord. So it's the kingdom of light and the kingdom of darkness. But there's no third kingdom. It's a, okay, there's a kingdom of light and a kingdom of darkness. And in the middle, there's a kingdom of gray, green, yellow. No, there's no. <laughs> Hana. <laughs> eh? Hana. There's only, there's only two kingdoms. Praise the Lord. So there's the kingdom of light and the kingdom of darkness. Praise the Lord. Amen. Let me ask the question. Uh... Who is the chief spirit, or can we say, who is the chief, eh? Can I just put it like that? Who is the chief in the kingdom of light? Who is the chief? Jesus or Parmeshwar, eh? Parmeshwar, not Bhagwan. Bhagwan name. Parmeshwar. You have to get this straight up. You have to understand. Eh? Bhagwan and Parameshwar, they are not the same. Understand? Amen. This God, this great God, stands alone. There's nobody else beside Him. <laughs> Amen? Amen? Bhagwan and Parameshwar, they are not the same. I'm sorry you're going to get offended here, but I need to make that very clear. Eh? Bhagwan and Parameshwar, they are not the same. Amen. 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 Eh? Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. The great God, Jehovah, the Almighty God, is a jealous God. Eh? So in the kingdom of light, Parmeshwar, God is the... He is the chief, He is the ruler, He is the God of God, He is the Lord of Lords. Amen. 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 And I can also go some better by Rai Rogan, Momo Mayata. O Quesarana, Nay Tau came in Martin Tunivarama, Sandy Lonely Ruakaya, Quetonduana. 
Praise the Lord. Amen. Seigneur, vous l'avez vu. Les deux. And who is the chief spirit in the kingdom of darkness? In the kingdom of darkness. Who is the chief there? Satan. Eh? Satan. Praise the Lord. So you, you know, see, I, I know that because I know this the, the Hindi, almost the same, eh? the word for Satan. Is that, is that how you pronounce Satan in Hindi? How do you pronounce Satan in Hindi? Satan. Satan. Is that correct? Okay, in Fiji, it's Satan. So it's almost the same. Eh? So Satan is the chief spirit, eh? Praise the Lord. Amen. Satan is the chief spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. Satan is the chief spirit. Praise the Lord. Amen. Let me let me let me ask a question for those of you who you were not here last night. Before you were born again, in which kingdom were you were in? Nimbek ni odingo mi chisu me no mutura no mi pakambula en a matin tu lawa o alewa en a tiko. Before you got born again, in which kingdom you were a member of? Which family did you belong to? Atorawa? So before you got born again, you were in the kingdom of darkness. And this fella here, I know I'm speaking broken pigeon in English here. This guy here, he was your spiritual father. the Lord Jesus Christ as our personal Savior and Lord. Amen. 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 Are you with me so far? Can we move forward? Yeah, yeah. Can, we, uh, can you please clarify? Yeah. If we're living yeah. under this Father, yeah. in some area, yeah. He can do so as a miracle, but He cannot do the peace and... Uh, That's right. Happiness. That's right. Or blessing. That's right. It cannot come from. You notice in witchcraft. Mm. What, what, what's the word of witchcraft in Hindi? Jadu. Jadu, huh? Jadu, okay. Eh? You notice in witchcraft, in Jadu. Huh? Yeah. Eh? You notice people go there to do the witchcraft because, uh, because the, the place they were going to worship is not working for them. And so they're looking for miracle and breakthrough from another source. Hala. Yeah. So they go, we've all done it before we serve the Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah, I've done it. Guilty. Yeah. Guilty as charged. I lift up both my hands and left to praise the Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. So we go to the jadu because, uh, hallelujah, we, we're looking for something eh, to be blessed, to be increased, to eh, for exam, for you know, some people go there for wife. Eh, I'm not so sure about that. If Satan gonna give the wife, man, you feel, I feel sorry for you. Hallelujah. Eh? Uh, amen. Yeah, uh, yeah. Well, we won't go, we won't go there. So what happens? Eh, because he can, Satan can perform the miracle, but he cannot. But it comes with a price. Eh? 
-hmm. It comes with a price. Because sooner or later, he'll come back to you and he says, Hey, I want this. And usually, yeah, it's usually he requires your soul or the soul of your loved ones. This is why you see witchcraft people or those involved in witchcraft, they don't have any feelings uh, uh, for their loved ones. They will sell their loved ones uh, to the devil. Because the devil will require a sacrifice. Understand now? Uh, it's a very dangerous thing to play with witchcraft. Very dangerous thing. Praise the Lord. Amen. And be very careful. If you think I'm going to go to the pandit, be very careful. Especially after hearing this truth. Eh? If you think you're going to go to the pandit, if you think you're going to go drink Yangona again, if you think you're going to go smoke the cigarette again, be very careful. Praise the Lord. Yeah. I think there's, I think there's, there's Hindi or he, eh? Hindi witchcraft. There's also Fijian witchcraft. Eh? There's almost witchcraft everywhere. Eh? No matter what kind of people you come across. Praise the Lord. Be very careful. Eh? And this is the reason why we're teaching this kind of thing, so that so that the church, the people of God, are aware of the deception that the devil is trying to bring on them. You see, if you do not know the truth. You will be forced to believe the lie. Understand? Huh? When Satan came to I'm still, I can't speak Hindi, but I'm not very good. Uh, when Satan came to, to Eve uh, in the Garden of Eden, remember that? How many of you remember the story? Eh? Okay? When he came and uh, 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 questioned their faith in God, eh? and that's what the devil is attacking, your faith. Question their faith in God. He said, Has God said? You see, has God said? In other words, he was trying to tell them, man, God is keeping something from you. He does not want you to have. The devil will always say that. Eh? Eh, look, that father, that father, wife, beautiful. That wife, father, beautiful. Eh? And you think, well, if I have that wife, I'll be happy. No. You know, you got to smack in the mouth. <laughs> eh? And then when Eve fell for it, because he said, you know, she said it. Eh? The devil said to her, oh, if you eat the fruit, the forbidden fruit, eh? he said, you will be like God. Understand? Mm -hmm. What Eve didn't know, they were already created like God. She didn't have to go and eat the fruit from the tree to be like God. They were already created like God. You see, she thought that they, they were missing something. Eh? But all the time she had. You see, if you do not know the truth, you will be forced to believe the lie. You better write that down. Stop staring at me. <coughs> Praise the Lord. If you do not know the truth, you will be forced to believe the lie. You have no option. How can you tell the lie from the truth? Because you don't even know the truth. Eh? How are you going to measure what the devil is telling you when you don't have any frame of reference in here, no word of God, no truth in here to be able to use as a reference to say, hey, this is a lie. Why? Because you know the truth. But if you don't know, know the truth, you will just believe whatever the devil tells you. Because you have nothing in you. Praise the Lord. To tell the difference. Amen? Amen? You have nothing in you to tell the difference. You won't know. The, the father come in, trick you, bite you, scratch you. You don't even know. Steal from you. Because the devil comes to steal, kill, and... This one. Praise the Lord. Amen. Don't move on. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Any questions so far? Praise the Lord. The kingdom of light is also known as kingdom of heaven, Matthew 3, verse 2, kingdom of God, Galatians 5, 21, kingdom of Christ and of God, Ephesians chapter 5, verse 5, the kingdom of his dear son, Colossians 1, 13, the kingdom of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, 2 Peter 1.11, and the kingdom of our God, Revelation 
They, if, if they're saying that, they're all referring to the kingdom of light. It's one and the same, eh? Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Can we go? Can we go forward? Or? Yes. I'll just give a little bit time to the people uh, writing. Praise the Lord. While the screen is working, eh? Praise the Lord. Amen, eh? No matter to ni rara ma ke no matter to ni mbutu mbuto. Even if you go to go kidra, ena ngau nengo. But you go no matter to ni mbutu mbuto, so you go no matter to ni rara ma. Remember the ten silver coins in the Bible, the parable that Jesus told in the Bible. Natini natini ni silver ko tiro na magamay. Eh, this lady, this must be an Indian lady, eh? indo fijian lady, because she had ten silver coins. Are they both rich lady, ah? Hey, praise the Lord. And what happened to one of the coins? Rabbi Gaya, the one and two that didn't see anymore. Missing. They are missing or lost. Praise the Lord. Amen. Where was it lost? In the house or out of the house? In the house. In the house. Yeah. The greatest loss of all is the lost in the house. You come into church every Sunday but still lost. Eh? Hearing the message of Christ but still lost. Eh? Lost in the house. Many, many people come to church and still lost it. Eh? Why? Because they refuse to obey the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Refuse. So they're still lost. Coming to church, coming. If this person who is lost in the house of God, when he or she dies, where does she go? Or where does he go? Hell, straight away. Hell. <clears throat> you come into church, still lost, and when you die, you go to hell. To meet who? Satan, your God. Parmesan cannot take you up to heaven because you don't belong to him. Only those who go to heaven are the ones that belong to Parmeshwa. Eh? And if you haven't received Jesus Christ as your personal Savior and Lord, that's who you're going down to. To your spiritual father, the devil. Eh? If you refuse to receive Jesus Christ as your personal Savior and Lord, sorry, you can't go to heaven. You may have a good life here, but both barka barka problem down there. Eh? What is, uh, what's the word in Hindi for hot? Garam. Are you barga barga garam down there? I hope you like heat. Because it's going to be hotter than Nandi, Tabua, Raki Raki, all that process. Eh? Both garam, eh? Huh? Amen? Amen. Well, I'm still here. Uh, it's, it's further down the slides here, but I'll just say this. Uh, um, for everyone, for everyone who is in the kingdom of darkness, for those who reject or refuse to receive Jesus Christ as their personal savior, right? When they die, they go to hell. Now watch this, this is very dangerous. The same punishment is given to Satan, is also given to all of his children. The same punishment, the same treatment that goes to Satan also goes to his followers or all his children. Praise the Lord. Amen. Eh? Amen. Amen. We didn't touch that last night. So I'm glad you came tonight. Praise the Lord. Amen. Yeah. Any question? Do I have time? Praise the Lord. Do you have any questions? Do you have any questions? Do you have any questions? Do you have any Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Yeah. In the kingdom of darkness, the kingdom of darkness is also known as the kingdom of Satan. Eh? It's also known as hell. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Amen. Question. This is a question. Before anybody, before any person is born again, in which 
kingdom does this person belong to? Ni sever ni tingko mi chisu en dona tomata en amatin tuda ba en lewa na tigo na tomata mo. The kingdom of darkness. And in the kingdom of darkness, who is the spiritual father of that kingdom? Satan. Do you see now? Yeah. Eh? Satan is the spiritual father eh? of all in the kingdom of darkness. Amen? Yeah. That's his domain. Eh? He rules and reigns in that domain. Praise the Lord. Amen. Uh, you remember the Lord's prayer? Na masuni turanga. What is this? Praise the Lord. You say that you na masuni turanga. Tamai ke mami mai. Praise the Lord. Our Father, who art in heaven. Now, before you were born again. In which kingdom do you belong to? Kingdom of hell. Did you used to say that prayer when you were unsaved? Yes. Yes. Eh? Nangone kusimber ni bokam pulai kina. Nangone kusimber nomu turang kina. Nangone turang wachi su karisto. Ne? We used to say that prayer, Our Father in heaven. But we were lying. Because we didn't belong to the kingdom of heaven, did we? We were in the kingdom of darkness. The kingdom of heaven is not our kingdom. Because we haven't been saved yet. So we were so the children of Satan were saying their prayer, and it is not their prayer. Because it doesn't that their prayer only belongs to the children of the kingdom of light. Because it says in their prayer, our father. Who art in heaven. your father, the devil is down there. You sing the wrong prayer because you were unsaved. You haven't made Jesus Christ your Lord and Savior yet. Now, no, sati ngomi Jesus kuna men no mu turang kena no mu iba ang pula sangero na masu na masu iturang. But that's why I don't know masu na lumi ni rara. Sino na masu na lumi ni butu buto? What is darkness in Hindi? Yeah. Sorry? Yeah, yeah. Okay. What my friend here said. Hana, if you are the children of that kingdom, praise the Lord. You cannot pray the Lord's Prayer. Because the Lord's Prayer belongs to the to the to the citizens of the kingdom of light. You see how the devil has deceived us, eh? Do you see now? Okay. I hope you'll see. Okay, the kingdom of hell. Eh? That's where. Before you got born again. Can we read the scripture? Two, three. Hell says, Who are you, Lord? And you say, I am Jesus, who belongs to you. But I stand on you. For I have appeared to you for this purpose, to make you a minister and a witness to all of the things which you have seen and of the things which I will let you into. I will deliver you from the Jewish people as well as from the Gentiles, to whom I now send you to open their eyes in order to turn them from darkness to light and from the power of Satan to God, that they may receive forgiveness of sins and inheritance among those who are sanctified. Understand now, eh? Do you see how very, very important salvation is? Eh? The Sagarada wa nambimbi, eh? Nimbula esuri na moni turang o chisu ni da samay sudubo. You see how important the new birth is, or some call it the new creation. Do you see how important it is? You see, to turn them from darkness to, from Satan to God. You see now. Praise the Lord. Amen. Can we read the three scriptures, please? Oh. Praise the Lord. Colossians 1.13. Mm. 
Colossians 1 13 says that uh, he has delivered us from the power of darkness and conveyed us into the kingdom of his uh, the, into the kingdom of the son of his love. Colossians 1 13, eh? If you got it over there, you can just write down the reference. Praise the Lord. Colossians. Anybody here have got a Hindi Bible? Where's Auntie? You got a Hindi Bible, Auntie? Auntie Surila? You got a Hindi Bible? Ha, ah, can you read it for us in the Hindi Bible, please? Colossians chapter 1, verse 13. Please. What about this? Don't worry about you. Let's look at what about this. Please prepare. Feature Bible. Hindi Bible, please. Barca, barca, volume, eh? You got that? That's yeah. all the Hindi speaking. Yeah. You, you understand that? Yeah. Do you want uh, do you want Auntie to read it again? Uh, read it again, please, Auntie. Amen. Can we see? We will not get my two, three. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Amen. So this is okay. Here we go. Let's read it while it's still up. First one, please. Two, three. He has delivered us from the power of darkness and covered us in the kingdom of the Son of His love. Number two. He has rescued us from the power of darkness and covered us in the kingdom of His love. The third one. For He has rescued us from the one who rules in the kingdom of darkness, and He has brought us into the kingdom of His dear Son. Praise the Lord. Uh, this is what happens when you got born again. When we got born again, three things happened to us. Eh? Three things happened to us. Praise the Lord. God took us out from the kingdom. Let's, let's just say, for example, eh? God took us out from the kingdom of darkness and transferred. Where's the word transfer? Transfer. Right? Took us out. And transfer us into the kingdom of light. Kingdom of light or the kingdom of the son of his love, which is still the kingdom of light. There's a transference happen in the spirit realm when you and I got born again. Please understand this. If you don't understand, please put your hands up so I can explain it, right? Understand that? Amen. He took us out. That's the word convey. Convey. Convey means to take out of one place and put it into another place. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, praise the Lord. Three things happen to us. That's these three things happen to us when we got born again. The first one is, can we read it together? Two, three. Changing of our sheep. Changing of rotation. And changing of position. Three things happen to every one of us when we got born again. These three things took place. God, in his supernatural power, did that for us. Without any understanding on our part, without any knowledge on our part. He did it supernaturally. Praise the Lord. Amen. Or you begin to appreciate your salvation now when we go through this thing. Amen. 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 Eh? We change lordship. Praise the Lord. In the kingdom of darkness, who was your Lord and Father and God? In the kingdom of darkness. Satan. Eh? Satan. When you were born again, he took you out from the kingdom of darkness and brought you into the kingdom of, 
of his love, of his kingdom of light. And now, who is the spiritual father in the kingdom of light? Jesus. God. See, you change lordship. Eh? In there, Satan was your lord. In here, God is your lord. Jesus is your lord and savior. Understand? Amen. Eh? Is that, is that, is that, is that clear? Eh? Clear? Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Then we change, we change lordship. Satan is no longer uh, your lord because you do not belong in his kingdom anymore now. God, see, the moment you, the moment, the moment uh, uh, Jesus become your lord and savior, straight away God took you out here. You don't belong in that kingdom and put you here in His kingdom because now Jesus is your lord and savior. That's the first thing that took place. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. The second thing that took place was, what did we say? The changing of <coughs> location. He took you from the kingdom of darkness, put you in the kingdom of light. Yeah? This is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. Remember when the father said that the Jesus and his baptism in the river Jordan. No, no, one need talk of. Amen. Amen. Do someone want to pray to my mind? Praise the Lord. Amen. The third thing. What I mean is I'll be more this afternoon. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. The third thing is the changing of position. See, when He placed you in the kingdom of light, He just He He just didn't take you and just dump you in there. He didn't just take you and dump you in there. Because he could let you make it and then just, ah, God, how did you go to work? No. He specifically took you out and specifically took you and placed you in a specific position. Specific. He put you at, at his right hand. That's the position of the highest authority in the spiritual uh, spiritual realm. And I do to very tundua and umbulo bagayao at the right hand of the Father. He placed you there. Understand this. Whatever is available to Jesus is also available to us. We are the body of Christ. Christ is the head and we are the body. So whatever is available to the head is also available to the body. body. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Eh? We are in Christ. If any man is in Christ, he is what? He is a new creation. All things have? Behold, all things have become? New. All right. Praise the Lord. Oh. Amen. 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 Do you understand now? Yes. Eh? He, he didn't just take you and just dump you through you, through you in his kingdom. So like, That's enough for him. Yeah. Have a nice time. Mother boy. No. He took you and he specifically placed you at the right hand of the Father, the highest place of authority in the spiritual kingdom in any realm praise the lord Amen. Amen. that's the scripture can we read it 2 corinthians 5 17 2 or 3 praise the lord Can we read it? Two, three. When we receive Jesus Christ as our Savior and Lord, Almighty God supernaturally changed our nature. Amen. In that scripture we, we, we read in um, 2 Corinthians 5 17, it says here that all things have become all new. 
Yang kasih Allah cinta lagi kena mana sah suatu mungkin amin kita sama sulit kita sama apa pun kau wah. Praise the Lord. Salah kata nak beri kamera kamera ada sahaja apa. Bau nak beri kaki dah nak tapi kita cinta kita macam kau. Praise the Lord. Yang kasih tama-tama kau cinta alam yang mahu sulit kau. Praise the Lord. Behold all things is eh become new. Praise the Lord. That new God change you. What's that word? What, do you have a word nature in uh, Hindi? Okay. I wrote it in the Bible. I'm declaring that Bartau is here. Praise the Lord. Nature. Uh, in Fiji, do we have a word for nature in Fiji? No, 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 Kalau yang balak balak rafu tu tak kau tuil liu, gosa tak mahu bu. Sangat orang mano. He used to be rough before Jesus Christ came into your life. He was rough, like an animal. Hana, eh? But now, and all the wives say Amen. Now, man, you are nice and humble and soft and loving, and we can communicate with you. Before are you both danger fam? Eh? And all the wives say, Amen. <laughs> ah, praise the Lord. Look at all, look at all the uncles and all the good. Come tell them, we're going to get you after this service. <laughs> we're going to marrow you after this service. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Can we read the scripture? 2 Peter 2, 22, 2, 3. Amen. A wash, wash, what? Wash, big, wash, suar. Is that is that right in Hindi? A wash the suar. So understand now. Picture a pig, any pig doesn't matter. Red pig, black pig, any pig. Ha? Eh? Well, a girl pig or you know baby pig, any pig. And you wash the pig, wash the suar. Ha? Wash it, wash it, wash it, nice and clean. Are you know you could have you, know, you could have brought the pig inside to watch the movie with you on the TV, huh? Right? Eh? So you wash the pig. After washing the pig, where does this pig go to? Go to the mud. Are right? Why? Why does the pig go back to the mud after you clean the pig? Why is that? You like the mud, eh? Because it's the nature of the pig. The nature of the pig is the one that's driving the pig to go back to the mud and roll around and roll around and roll around. No matter how many times you wash the sewer, and the sewer keep on going to the mud. Praise the Lord, eh? Because some of you. And some of us, including the pastor, you know, we were like that before we received Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Yeah. You got punched over there. And hey, hey, we can come. You go back there. Yeah. They catch, catch you there. Hey. After that, you go back there. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Hey. They spend all your money there. After that, you go back. You drink the drug, you drink whatever you drink, you do whatever the naughty thing that you do. Praise the Lord. Yes. Eh? Why is that? Why does the pig do that? You see, the pig doesn't have any ability in him or her to know the difference between clean and dirty. The pig doesn't have, does not know any difference. Huh? What is clean and what is dirty? The pig cannot discern between clean and dirty. And this is the reason why the pig what? Keeps going back to the mud. What do you reckon is the solution for the pig? Can we read together? Two, three. Until the nature of the pig is changed, it will 
Lebih dari kian dalam naik kelam lolo buat mekina. Sempat di mata kah mengko, sempat dalam tali. How many of you? Eh, kamu isang ngan itu orang mata kamu. All your wages. You receive this week. Are you go to the night club, spend all the wages, come home, where's the money? Class. What happened? We drank it all with my friends. What are we gonna eat? Oh, look. <coughs> we're gonna find some. You know? How many of you have done that silly thing? How many of you have done any naughty things? Don't put your hands up. Praise the Lord. Eh? Until the nature of the pig is changed, you keep on doing the same thing. You and me were you. Yeah? You and me, we want any different to be swan. Praise the Lord. Amen. Eh? Some of us, maybe the suar better. We better back again. Praise the Lord. The suar will be a little bit further. We back further than the pig style and all that. The life we used to live before. And all the people Amen. said, Amen. Praise the Lord. Nobody being honest. <laughs> Hallelujah. So how can the sin nature of a person change? How can we change the, the nature of a person? How can we say uh, change the, the sin nature of a person? Praise the Lord. The answer is, can we read it? That's the answer. Do you see? Only through the new birth can our sin nature be changed. I was thinking about today this thing. Um, let me just ask the question. I've asked this question before here in this church. So I'll ask it again. Let me see how many people remember. Uh, if anybody comes, uh, let's say this is the line here, right? That's the line there. Just the imaginary line, okay? So this is the kingdom of darkness here. That over there this is the kingdom of light. All you people here are already in the kingdom of light. I'm the sinner person, huh? Let's say. I come over here and I confess my sins to Christ. Do I have the right now to come into the kingdom of light? No. Praise the Lord. Let me ask a question. I'm here at the border. That way you just call it border, huh? Okay, I'm here at the border. This is the kingdom of darkness. That's the kingdom of light. I'm here and I confess my sins to God. Does God, will God allow me to come into his kingdom now? Yes. No. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. yes. Okay, those who say yes, put your hands up. Those who say no, put your hands up. Okay. The no is the correct answer. And now I'm going to ask all the no to tell us the answer. Why is that? Change the position. Close. Very close. Thank you. Because you have to be washed in the water, be baptized before you go into the new. Okay, okay, yeah, I understand that. Okay, close. My brother, go back. How to accept Jesus as the Savior. That's the answer right there. That's the answer right there. In other words, if your sins has only been forgiven, you cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Not yet. What's lacking is that you still haven't received the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Savior and Lord. That's the one that changed the nature. Not the forgiveness of sins. If your sins are only forgiven, if you die there, you still go to hell. Because you haven't received the Lord Jesus Christ to be your personal Savior and Lord. The moment you receive Jesus Christ to be your Savior and Lord, that's the moment your nature is changed and then now you can come into the kingdom of the Lord Jesus Christ. Understand now. Yeah. But where does the baptism take? Uh, in which uh, time? And how does it? Baptism is part of the discipleship program, not a qualification to enter into the kingdom of God. 
Amen? I'll give you the example. Remember the thief on the cross. Remember that? Eh? One of them repented and one of them didn't. Now the one that repented, did he go to heaven or not? He went to heaven. Was he baptized before he went to heaven? No. no. Yeah. Some uh, some pastors I have went to their preaching. They yeah. have said that unless and until you take a water baptism, yeah. you cannot enter heaven. That's the wrong interpretation of I think it's Mark 16. It's in it. Um, we will we will go, we will clarify that one for you. No no problem. It's I think it's in Mark 16. Let's say, but it's it's a, it's a misinterpretation of that scripture. It's not water baptism is not a qualification of entering into the kingdom of God. Uh, let me ask the question. That's a good question she's asking. Now I'm asking the question. Why is water baptism not a qualification of entering into heaven? Why? Why? That's a good question. Now we're going to ask the church. Why is it not a qualification of entering into heaven? Why? 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 Through the blood of Jesus, but I'm, I, I'm, we're asking. That's good. good thank you. Thank you. Uh, we're, we're, we're asking about. We're asking about eternal. How can you receive eternal life? Why is baptism? Why is water baptism left out of it? And the story back someone again. Praise the Lord. Uh, come to uh, Ephesians chapter 2. Ephesians chapter 2, please. Good question. Thank you, my brother. Ephesians chapter 2. Verse, uh, verse 8 and verse 9. Verse 8 and verse 9. Uh, whoever has found it? Okay. Uh, sister. Bolo, Bolo. Bolo, Bolo. Read it. God has brought us back to life together with Christ Jesus and has given us a position in heaven with you. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Anybody else got uh, any English translation there? Okay. For by grace you have been saved yeah. by faith. And that not of yourself, it is the gift of God, not of what does anyone will shall boast. Now watch. Let me touch it very clear. Now can I have a bit? And I don't know. Yes, I'm Okay, thank you. So you see here, it says that for by grace you are saved. Eh? It is the gift of God. So salvation <coughs> is given to each and every one of us, right? By grace. It is a free gift. Anybody can be saved. Hala. Black, white, purple, green, hallelujah. No matter which country and what kind of lifestyle you live in. You can be saved from that, from that place. Hala. Eh? It is the free gift of God. In other words, you don't have to do anything to earn it. Eh? Yeah. You, you don't have to do anything. You don't have to work for it. And therefore, God has to reward you with salvation. No, it's a free gift. Eh? But we have to receive it by faith. So write this down. Okay? Salvation is a free gift of God given by grace but we have to receive it by faith huh? salvation is a free gift of god given to us by grace by his grace but we have to receive it by faith so in other words even though you don't understand it how it works but you still believe it and receive it you are saved 
Amen. 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 And that scripture goes on to say, it's not of works. Otherwise, we will boast. So in other words, in other words, if you did something, eh, and you are now rewarded with salvation, what will happen to you when you get to heaven? You will start boasting about it. You say, the reason why I'm here, man, I used to preach in Naveri. And when I lay hands on people, man, I read the people fall down. And when I, you know, when I prophesy, I read a demon run away. You begin to boast about what you do for God. You understand now? Amen. Go to 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 29. 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 29. English Bible, can anybody who found it please read it out? 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 29. Wilmai, Wilmai, Matai Koronida was sendua, Tigine Rosa Wuka Viva. Amen. English? So that no one may boast before him. May boast before him. In another translation, say, No flesh shall glory in his presence. You see. Yeah. Praise the Lord. All of us, when we get to heaven, eh, we all have one testimony, and that's we're going to say the only reason why I'm up here is because I'm washed in the blood. Amen. Yeah. None of us will be able to boast about man. We used to play the guitar in uh, in faith. Well, man, we used to preach. Man. Oh, are we used to do the visitation there. Oh, I am the one that made the pie over there in Narere Nabosai Christian Center. Nobody will be able to boast about what we do for God. All of us will say, Well, I'm here today because I'm washed in the blood of Jesus. Amen. Amen. And the city of Indubi can then bullet and a kind of cover one clue. Can't a kid and then a walk to Sato Dogo. No, who are we? We are going to be killing it. But the news are Savaya Romula and I'm dry cheese soup. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Now come to Mark chapter 16. So we'll clarify here why baptism is not part of salvation. Mark chapter 16, verse 15 and 16. Got it? Mark chapter 16, 15 and 16. And we read, And he said to them, Go into all the world, and preach the gospel to every creature. Now very slowly, read 16. He who believes and is baptized will be saved, but he who does not believe is condemned. And it's a missing interpretation of this verse right here, that many people have been deceived by a lot of preachers who are missed Quoting and taking out of context this verse here. Amen? Amen? You see, water baptism is something you and I do. Hello? Mm. Eh? Because God does not supernaturally water baptize you, does he? Has anybody here that God drag you out in the middle of the night, eh, take you to the river to water baptize you? Anybody? Put your hands up. How many here you've been water baptized uh, by God? himself. Took you out to the sea, dump you in the water, and pray over you. How many have you been water baptized? Let me take a separate question why. Who baptized you? Man or God? Man. There you go. Now watch. Come very close. Look at the next verse. It says in verse 16, the first part says, he who believes and baptized will be saved. But 
He who does not believe will be what? Notice he didn't have baptism in there. Did you see that? In the second part of the verse. Okay? If baptism was part of salvation, then it should say at the end of that verse, but he who does not believe and water baptized will be condemned. But notice he didn't say that. He, lived, he left water baptism out of it. He just says there, but he who does not believe will be condemned. That's it, full stop. Do you see now? It's a misinterpretation of that scripture. Eh? Water baptism was never a part of salvation. If it's a part of salvation, now God is rewarding us because we went down and got water baptized ourselves. We did something. Is that right? Eh? You drove to the sea. You went there. You organized the pastor. The pastor organized. We're going to have water baptism this day. In other words, you did something. Amen? Amen. Water baptism was never part of salvation. Remember, it's a free gift of God given by grace. You don't have to do anything. Just receive the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Savior and Lord. Are you saved? Yeah. How many here, you got water baptized before you got saved? Same. Okay. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 My time is up. My time is up. Praise the Lord. Any more questions? Good question. Thank you for that. Amen. Does that answer your question? Yes. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for answering that question. Father, Brother Joe? The only thing is yes. Because remember, remember that scripture in Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8 and 9, it says that salvation is given by grace. Eh? It's a, uh, sal salvation is a free gift given by grace. Eh? But we have to receive it by faith. Now, no more come to you're going to post the color. Eh? Praise the Lord. Come to Romans chapter 10, I think it is. Romans chapter 10. Hallelujah. Romans chapter 10, I think verses 9 and 10. Romans chapter 10. Yeah, that's a good question, Brother Joe. Romans chapter 10, verses 9 and 10. Are we there? Romans chapter 10, verses 9 and 10. Let's read 2, 3. That if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart one believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Praise the Lord. Amen. Eh? Hallelujah. Amen. Eh? Believe in the heart and confess with the mouth. That's how you get saved. Amen. Amen. So, Pastor, the baptism is not needed. The baptism is not part of salvation. Baptism is part of the discipleship program. Because we are identifying with the death and the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. You don't have to be baptized to be saved. Right? You can be saved without being baptized. The main thing, the main thing is salvation. The main thing is salvation. But what a baptism is that it's the discipleship program that every follower of Jesus Christ must go through. One thing I want to ask. Yeah. Uh, until, unless Jesus was baptized, ha. the Spirit of God didn't come on him. Yes. As soon as Jesus took the baptism, ha. the Spirit of God came on him. Yes. And the voice came that he is my son that whom I love. Yes, that's right. So, so you can see the so you can see the disciple problem. Yes. Continue, continue. So why did he didn't say it before until Jesus was baptized? Because he he had to be equipped with the Holy Spirit before he he went in. Remember, he, Jesus didn't do a miracle until he was being empowered by the Holy Spirit. Was he any less a son of God at 21? Was Jesus Christ a son of God at 21? Yes or no? Yes, of course. He was a son of God at 21. 
What happened from when he was born until 30 years old? What happened here? What happened here? Come on. He was preparing. Ah, he was preparing. 30 years of preparation for a three and a half years of ministry. <laughs> we, want, we want to do like the other side, eh? We want to have uh, three and a half years of preparation for a 30 year of ministry. Doesn't work like that. Hello? I'm going to go mission to the Tabua. Don't worry, take him to me now. Besumina and Dumbelitz. Praise the Lord. Eh? Tosa Munia Pakino of Marotaki. Tolu Vima Mangana Pakino of Nakaloku. 30 years of, uh, of preparation. Three and a half years of ministry. It's a three to one ratio. Eh? Praise the Lord. Amen. <laughs> yeah. Eh? Don't promote anybody too early in the church when they haven't been prepared properly yet. Otherwise, eh? Jesus, we know. Paul, we know. Who are you? Amen. Yes. Any other question? Yes. The Talibet Tan. Sawati. Kalas, finish? Yes. Alright, let's bow our heads and pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just stand up and say something nice to God. Bless God. Thank God for what you have learned tonight. Thank God for what you received tonight. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Wonderful God, we bless your holy name. We thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. Wonderful God, Jesus. We bless you. We worship you. We thank you. Glory to you, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. We worship you. We thank you, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Parmeshwa. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father God, we are so thankful to you tonight. Thank you for our salvation. Thank you, Father God, hallelujah, for taking us out from the kingdom of darkness, Lord God, and placing us in the kingdom of your a son, we thank you, Father God, that we are seated together with Christ in the heavenly places at your right hand. Thank you, Lord God, hallelujah, for giving us the Holy Spirit, Lord God, baptizing us with the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord, that we are your children and you are our spiritual father. We thank you, Lord. We bless your holy name. Lord God, I pray that you bless your people. Bless your children, Lord God. Hallelujah. Look after your people as they, hallelujah, depart from your house tonight. Lord God, we pray for the covering uh, of the blood of Jesus. We pray for the ministering angels of God to watch over them and protect them on their way home and the rest of this week uh, until we meet again in this place. Hallelujah. Oh, wonderful Jesus. We thank you tonight. We be careful to give you all the glory, all the honor, all the praise, and all the worship because it belongs to you, God. In Jesus' name we pray and the church say, Amen. Amen, amen and amen. Clap off into the Lord. Hallelujah. Please uh, greet somebody, shake somebody.